Hi, hi. My name is Anya. I'm I'm going to conduct a head to toe assessment on you. I already washed my hands on my way here. Um, so, do you have any questions um, today? No. Okay. So, before I start, um, is it okay for you if I take your vital signs? Yes. Okay. Let me just check. And then your heart rate is 50 and your oxygen saturation is 96. One ten over sixty five. Do you have any questions with your um, vital signs? No. Okay. system which is your skin so I will um, while looking at you I'm actually identifying and I'm, I'm identifying if you have any lesions if you have anything on your torso can I okay so yeah just identify identifying lesions and any issues with your skin um, so I'm also like palpating, just feeling if you know there's like lumps and bumps that we have to be concerned of. You know? Okay. And then also your skin turner, or your skin temperature, the turner, which is the elasticity of your skin. And just looking at the overall appearance of your inventory system. Okay. Um, next. We will move on to your heart, your head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat. Okay? So, and if anything in this procedure, if you have any question, just let me know, okay? Okay, so first is, I'm going to um, inspect, look into your ear, everything, your head, your hair distribution, um, your the shape and contour of your skull shape and contour of your skull and then actually looking for any bumps and lumps and then i feel the contour for any depression on the back of your head and move to the face i'm inspecting for symmetry looking for any facial involuntary movements um any scaring any lesion any crash stain so uh, and then I'm going to fill your, um, your overall skin, okay? Okay, so now we're going to uh, move into the eyes, the eye examination, okay? So I'm going to check the perla, um, which is the um, pupils are round and reactive to light and accommodations. So let me just shine a light on your... And then the other side. Okay. And then we're also, I would like to like see 
just shining a light on there okay okay and then next is we're gonna we're going to check on the cranial nerve three four and six which is the eye movements it's the ocular cochlear and your abducens okay so Kai I would like you I would like you to look far in a distance far in a distance and then focus on your nose tip of your nose good yeah. and then we're gonna do a um, testing of your eye movement so I want you to um, gaze on uh, upward on your right just don't move, try not to move your head okay um, gaze upward to your left gaze horizontally on your left yeah gaze horizontally to your right and then gaze downward to your left and then gaze downward to your right okay good and then we're gonna check for um, the acuity of your eyes so I want you to stand up and like look at my Snellen chart over here Let's just go follow me here please okay just stay on there move a little uh, you can go closer so you can focus on okay come here a little bit yeah so um, I want you to read um, uh, close your eye, sorry, cover your uh, your left eye and read number six line. Line number six. E, D, F, C, Z, P. Good. And then following the same instruction, cover your right eye and then read the number seven line. F, E, L, O, P, Z, B. Good job. So now you can come back and like just sit on the edge of the bed. So um, the next one is I'm gonna I'm going to inspect your oral mucosa, gingiva, your oral pharynx, and your tongue for any lesions or any color changes or any any of a, of the concern. So can you open your mouth and just say ah ah. And then can you put your tongue up? Good job. Anything anywhere in there? Okay, good. Okay, and then now we're going to um, move on on the nasal cavity. So I'm just gonna going to inspect, um, see if everything looks normal. Um, I'm going to look for color, the intactness, if there's lesion, there's edema, or any discharges inside your nose, okay? So I would like you to look up while I'm looking at the inside of your nose, okay? So I'm gonna just hold the tip of the nose over here. Okay, so there's no discharges. I don't see anything that's of, a, of an issue. Do you have any problems in your nose? Okay, good job. So next is we're going to, um, I'm going to palpate your um, sinuses. So I'm gonna just like palpate on your frontal sinuses, and then also your maxillar. Any pain? No. Okay, good. And then also, I'm going to palpate your thyroid gland and um, see if there's any lymph nodes on your neck. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just that's the thyroid gland. Okay. So I didn't feel any. Um, so everything looks good. And then now we're going to check your hearing acuity, okay? So I'm going to use a tuning fork um, just to test your, your hearing acuity, okay? So just tell me if you hear anything. So I'm just gonna hit this on the, and then put it on your forehead. Do you hear or feel anything? Okay, good. So the other one, uh, so, um, so that's, uh, so that's what we um, call the Weber or the um, Ryan test, okay? So the Weber test assess for the conduction into the ear. So when I strike the tuning fork and place it into your forehead, um, on the crown of your head, um, I asked you if you hear anything and you answered me. So next is we're going to, we're going to do the Ryan test. Ryan test is on the side of your ear. So it's the same. I'm just going to strike the tuning fork on my my leg or my hand and then we're actually looking for um if you can hear it when i place it in front of your ear 
So if you can hear any vibration at all, okay? So let's do the left first. And then here, can you see, hear anything? Okay. And then we're gonna do the left side. Can you hear anything? Mm -hmm. Good. So that conducts our head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat um, examination. So now we're going to move on to respiratory. So is it okay if you remove your short shirts? Shirt. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I will be looking at the, uh, I will be assessing all the lobes. And I will inspect your thorax for shape, size, movement. And then also the depth of your respiration. Is it shallow? Is it medium? Is it deep? And then the effort of your breathing, if it's labored or unlabored. Okay. So now I'm gonna put, and also I'm gonna palpate for symmetry. Okay. And then the next will be, I will um, percuss the posterior thorax, which is the back for resonance. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go and focus on here, please. Yeah, you can, yeah, same, yeah. So now we, we need to do it by in between the intercostal when I'm doing the percussion. And then Kai, I would like you to do a different and um, exhale and inhale, okay? So I'm just gonna ch uh, check for the expansion of your lungs. Okay. One more. Good job. Okay, so now uh, would you be able to face me? I will be... So your, your left lung and your right lung, okay? So I'm just gonna listen. Deep breaths. Good job, deep breaths. Deep breaths. And then we're gonna do it also at the back of your, so you can face over there, Kai. Okay, deep breaths please. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. One more. Okay. So, so now just like continue to, um, uh, we're gonna continue back. Uh, we're gonna continue to um, cardiovascular. Okay, so I'm just gonna assess for hips and lifts. So I'm just gonna palpate it and like. Okay, so okay, and then now I'm gonna ask ask out there. Listen, I'm going to listen to your heart sounds. Um, paying attention to the rate, to the rhythm, and the quality of the heart sounds, okay? So we're going to listen to your aortic, pulmonic, tricus tricuspid, and also the mitral. So in between your pulmonary and your tricuspid is the herbs point, okay? So I can hear normal, normal heart sounds. So now we're gonna check for the capillary of your extremities. Okay, can you give me your... So when I press like one to two seconds, it will be able, the blood volume and bubble you will be able to return and that shows us pink, okay? So it's the same thing on this side. And then also, I'll just remove your socks, okay? Same with the capillary pills on this one. Okay, good. And then now, I'm going to feel for your pulse. 
So we're just gonna look for the intensity. So from, you know, we're gonna see if it's absent, weak, normal, and bonding. So let's see, this is your radial, radial pulse. I can feel it's normal. And then also for your pedis is this one on top of here. Can I see the other one, please? Okay, good. Good. So um, we're also going to perform the Hohmann sign. So Hohmann sign is um, a way of determining if you're positive for um, deep vein thrombosis. So we're going to do a dorsiflexion of your foot. Dorsiflexion. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to squeeze on this side. And then if there's a positive pain, then um, the test is positive for Hohmann's sign. Uh, positive for PBT. Okay, so it's the same here. Okay, good. And you have no pain, right? Okay. And then now we're going to move on to your gastrointestinal um, and nutrition. So I would like you to go ahead and lay on your back here. So this is like just a general appearance. You can compose her and like, this is a general appearance of your um, stomach. So um, this is your right quadrant, uh, upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, and the left, uh, right lower quadrant. So I'm just looking, I'm just looking for the overall um, um, shape, looking for any pulsations, any movements, any um, pulsations from the aorta. The parasitic peristals, peristalsis are the waves of the bowel, of the bowels, which is a lot of times you can see obviously when you're just looking at it. And then after that, we're going to auscultate for bowel sounds, okay? So normally the bowel sound should be between five to 30. Anything that's lower is hypoactive and anything that's higher is hyperactive. And then of course, if there's like um, absence of bowel sounds, okay? So I'm just gonna listen. When did you last had your bowel movement? When did you last have? Yesterday? Yeah. Okay. And the next one is palpation. Um, I will, no, sorry. The second is the percussion. So I'm just gonna, um, going to check for resonance of your stomach, okay? It's like tympanic. Can you hear that? Okay, and then also the liver, the liver side is way up here. So I'm just gonna, okay? And next for the percussion is the palpation. So I'm just gonna going to palpate around your your stomach, okay? Okay, so I don't feel anything. Everything looks good. So um, the next the next step that we're going um, we're going to do is. Um, performing the McBurney's test. So what is McBurney's test? It's just a test that that tells us if you have a positive um, if you have a positive result for like having appendicitis, okay? So in your umbilicus area and then here on your ASIS, so just one third um, halfway that uh, one third to that, like just an imaginary line, um, that's where you, you're going to you're going to be able to palpate the McBurney's point. So if I put like a really like deep pressure on it and it hurt and it gives you relief, then uh, relief and then when I remove it, you have, um, you still, you, your pain starts to come back. Then that's a positive test for McBurney's, um, McBurney's uh, test. So that, that, um, that concludes that you possibly have a appendicitis, okay? So next is, we're going to um, inspect your bladder for any bladder distension, for any tenderness. 
sorry, sorry, sorry for any tenderness, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna perform the what what we call the costal costal vertebral angle or tenderness, which can say if you have any, you know, if you have a flop pain like kidney pain, you might have a urinary tract infection. So I want you to sit here at the edge of the bed. Here. Okay. So here, if um so this side and this side, you can focus on here. Um, here on this side, just this. When I do this, or this one, if you feel any pain, then that's a positive um, sign that probably there's some um, urinary tract infection or something is going on, okay? So now I want you to sit on the edge of the bed over here. We're going to test your musculoskeletal system. First, I'm just going to inspect your shoulder, your hip joints for any abnormalities, for any um, crepitus, okay? Okay, can you um, move your shoulder up? Good. Um, just make sure that you're going uh, against my... Okay, good. So now put your hands up. Okay, and then now your leg. Oh no, can you uncross your leg please? Okay, go. And then your leg. Okay, good. Good. And then now I'm going um, to test for a range of motions and, you know, probably like listen for crepitus or any popping sounds on your joints. Um, so now please, can you do a flexion? Small flexion. Yeah. Down. And then extension. Extend. You want to stand up? You're doing that. Okay. Extension. Our flexion, extension, okay, Adduct, abduction, adduction, and abduction. Okay, good. Now you can sit down. And then when I'm doing the overall examination of your joints and everything, are you feeling any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we obviously um, test for the strength of your arms, your legs, your shoulders, and your, let's do your wrist. Okay, and then your ankle joints. Okay. And then, can you, would you be able to, um, uh lay on your back so we can check your hip flexion just lay on your back okay so i'm gonna lift this and then i want you to put it in in inwards okay good so that's um abduction okay let's do it on the other side okay okay and then would you be able to do adduction like away from your body? Just open your legs. No, just straight. Just open. Okay. And then we're gonna do flexion. Can you flex your your the other side, please? Okay. And then can you lay on your um, stomach and do an extension of your? Okay. Let's do this side first. Let this one no. So just straight. Okay, and then the other side. Okay, good job. So now we're going to do your neurological test. Come come sit here. Can you please uh state your name? Um Kai. Aiden is third year. And when is your birthday? January 17, 2009. Uh, do you know where we are at? Hospital clinic. Okay, so what are we currently doing? We're doing an examination. Okay. Okay, and then do you know who is the president of the United States? Joe Biden. Good. So I want you to squeeze my hands by, I grip my um, hands bilaterally, okay? And like, so I can test if it's an equal. Uh, can I press it, please? Okay, so next is we're going to check on the patellar reflex. 
So, the, the, are you able to, there you go. So with the patellar, so this is like the patellar, uh, the pa pa patella. So the, uh, down there is where you can find the tendon. So if you stretch your leg, you will see that the tendon is popping up. So that's where you're gonna hit it briskly and then we're gonna be able to test the reflex. So I'm going to do um, left and right, okay? So let me just get my hammer. Okay. So again, patella, and this is the tendon. If I ask you to stretch it, your tendon will pop up and that's where I'm gonna hit it, okay? So just relax. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three again. Not yet. One, two, three. Okay, and now we're gonna do the other one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So for testing the Achilles um, reflexes, it's better actually to um, probably lay on your stomach or on chair. Uh, can you stand up and see if I will be able to get a chair? So just stay. Okay, so just on here, Kai. I want you to put your um, knee. No, you just stand and then just put your knee on like this, okay? So this is your tendon here, and that's your Achilles tendon. So I'm just gonna heat it over there, okay? One, two, three. Okay, did you, there. So let's do the left side. So there again, and that's the tendon, and I'm, I'm gonna heat it briskly. Okay, so did you see that uh, that's the moving side? And then next, would you be able to, um, would you be able to walk from there to here? I'm just assessing your gait. So I'm also checking on your posture. I'm also checking on your overall um, posture. So now I want you to do the Romberg's test. So with the Romberg's test, would you be able to lift your arm? No, just a forward and then close your eyes. So with the Romberg test, um, so that's actually, you will have a minimal swaying and, but you're not gonna lose your balance. So, so I'm just like testing the Romberg, Romberg's test. And it seems like you do very well and there's nothing of any concern. Um, you can now put your, your, your arm down. Do you have any questions regarding our head to toe assessment today, Kai? No. Okay, well that concludes our, that concludes our head to toe assessment. Thank you very much.